Okay. Hello again. So this is, I have, I watched Lee's new video about the Passover, and I'm going to mull over some things, but one thing that caught my eye immediately, and I would like to see proof of this. Number one, I celebrate Resurrection Day as Sunday. I don't pr particularly like to call it Easter. Um, and you, as you said, there are arguments on both sides as to when he's resurrected, and I'm of the other camp. Um, however, my specific question in short, you said that the tradition started as um, dyeing eggs with the blood of children that were sacrificed. Now, <clears throat> studying pagan myths has been my specialty for a few years because it has come up um, with debates with atheists and with debates with Muslims um, and all the um, internet um, claims and YouTube claims and all that. And I don't believe that there is any historical proof of your claim. I would like to see, not that I use eggs to celebrate Resurrection Day, because I don't, um, but just I like to be accurate about things. I like to have a foundation of historical and linguistical proof. Not, I don't want to see a um, YouTube video telling me that. I don't want to see an article on um, the internet telling me that. I want to see real historical documentation of that claim, pre-Christian era, or pre, pre I should say, pre before Christians started doing that. Um, what, what I'm saying is I want to see proof of that. Proof that is contemporary with the claim that pagans did that. That's what I want to see. I want to see proof. I'm really big, personally, on just, it's got to be historical proof. I don't want to see some claim. I don't want to see some article from the 1800s or 1950 or 1992 or a YouTube video um, of that was made two years ago with the claim. I want to see a historical document proving that because if it's not there, then it's a claim. and I take offense at, claim, at, at claims with no proof. Um, that bothers me. Don't put it out there unless you have an historical document that you can cite that is a historical document, not someone's um, write-up of it, but an historical document. Do you have it? I'm really curious about that um, because that's just... It, I, I've had to write article after article after article, and you would find that I'm I do a lot better with um, rebuttals in writing than on a video because I ramble. Um, but I have studied the pagan myths, and I go right back to the um, documents themselves. And so, what I want to see. From you, if you're going to make this claim and put it on the internet, I want to see where that claim comes from other than someone saying it on a YouTube video. Even, even pagans saying that. Pagans can say it all they want, but I, I don't care if they say it. I care about historical proof. That is so, this is such a big thing. If you're going to lay something out there, you've got to back it up by historical, linguistical, archaeological, something, proof. So um, that would be my challenge to you. Like I said, I don't um, use Easter eggs. Um, I wasn't raised in a home where we did eat Easter eggs for Easter. Um, but I, I still would like to know. I mean, if you could put that out on a video, I don't see, I looked on the bottom of your video and I don't, I see that you've got some sources on there of like, you know, videos that people have done, but I, w I would love to see historical proof of that. If you, if you wouldn't mind doing a video, um, 
showing some historical proof or put it in your comment section. As I said before, I don't comment on your videos and the reason is is because I don't want you to remove them. Um, so I'm making this video now because I am really curious about where you get that other than someone making a claim. Um, a lot of your video is good. I appreciated a lot of what you had to say. Um, however, that is one question that I'm dying to have answered if you wouldn't mind. Thank you and God bless. Bye.